Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received yesterday His Royal Highness Prince Al Hassan ibn Talal and his son Prince Rashid bin Al Hassan on the occasion of their visit to Bahrain. His Majesty welcomed His Royal Highness Prince Al Hassan and praised the depth of the historic brotherly relations between Bahrain and Jordan and the development of the joint cooperation between them on all levels. He also noted the interest of His Royal Highness Prince Al Hassan in intellectual, cultural, literary and economic issues as well as his activities which are aimed at raising the level of Arab intellect. Then His Majesty held a dinner banquet in honor of His Royal Highness Prince Al Hassan bin Talal. Earlier yesterday, His Royal Highness Prince Al Hassan bin Talal, accompanied with his son Prince Rashid, arrived in Bahrain and were received upon arrival by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, Jordan's ambassador to Bahrain, and the governor of Muharraq. The Labour and Social Development Minister, Mr. Jamil bin Mohammed Hamedan, currently heading Bahrain's delegation to the International Labour Conference, affirmed during a speech that human dignity and social justice are fundamental principles of the development process led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and evident by the government's adoption of advanced anti-discrimination policies in the labour market. Mr. Hamedan affirmed the Kingdom's adoption of the initiative set by the current session of the conference during the 108th International Labour Conference being held in Geneva, Switzerland. Minister Hamedan also praised the International Commission report on the future of labour for setting a program of action for human rights and for its valuable insights that contribute to the formation of economic and social policies in a world full of variables. During his speech, the minister affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain launched a number of projects and initiatives to promote education, vocational training and rehabilitation. Bahrain has also supported the private sector wages project 
in addition to training costs for new staff as well as supporting and developing entrepreneurship. A new spay and neuter initiative to tackle the country's stray dogs crisis has officially gone international. The program, spearheaded by the Animal and Environment Protection Charity Organization, invites voluntary vets and animal welfare centers from all over the world to help with its Trap Neuter Return campaign. The Global Drive is the first of its kind in the Middle East. The organization's goal is to work in conjunction with the Works Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning Ministry, the first deputy premier office and the MPs to neuter and spay 80% of the stray dogs in the country, leaving 20% for the environmental cycle. The organization also would like to oversee strict regulations on breeding, selling, importing or exporting animals. After they are operated on, the dogs are kept until they fully recover. However, people can visit the camp and adopt a dog if they wanted to. This is only a temporary location and after the conclusion of the initiative, the organization will focus on getting a permanent location to continue the TNR drive. I'm pleased to visit the workshop uh, held by the AAPCO uh, this afternoon and welcome um, the efforts made by this charity in order to control the, uh, to help the government uh, through the Minister of Works uh, municipalities and urban planning mm, to uh, uh, combat and the, the stray dogs uh, phenomena uh, and in a number of uh, areas in Bahrain. Well, I'd like to thank the office of the first deputy of the prime minister for always backing us up in such a, a controversial uh, subject. They have been uh, at the backbone of us trying to achieve a, a, a kind of a reform in the animal welfare uh, rules in Bahrain. In this project, it's a TNR project, um, which is trap, neuter, and return. We are trying to achieve to get to uh, 30 uh, neutering 30 dogs a day, and we would like to continue. This is a two-week project. We did a one-week project last year. We're doing a two-week project this year, and we would like to continue this project to be to going be going on because it's very crucial for the stray dog. Uh, uh, numbers to go down and this is the most productive way we have opened the doors for volunteer vets from all over the world to come and help us with their knowledge and we would you know try to continue on our own well it's been a pleasure to be part of uh, this one-of-a-kind um, program in Bahrain and campaign and it goes without saying that without Sheikh Marwa's hard work and drive this wouldn't have happened um, we look forward to actually um, changing laws in Bahrain concerning not only dogs but um, all animals and as well as on the, in the environment. Um, but this campaign has been very rewarding and fulfilling to be um, a part of, uh, considering that we've actually seen a great response from Bahrainis as well as expats. Um, everyone wants to be involved in the protection and um, saving these stray dogs. And um, when we neuter them and um, spay them, um, we try to rehouse them so that we get them off the streets. And we do this not only for the animals' welfare, but for the welfare of society.